Streaming sticks just keep getting better, and Amazon's Fire TV Stick 4K is the latest example. Offering Alexa voice control, 4K HDR including Dolby Vision, and a ton of ways to control your home theater, this $50 streamer packs a whole lot of value. But is it the right choice for you? The Fire TV Streaming Stick 4K comes with everything you're going to need for setup, including a micro USB to USB cable, as well as a wall adapter for versatile power connection. You've got a loaded remote here with the voice control mic button, as well as toggle keys for TV power and volume, as well as, of course, some AAA batteries and the HDMI extender, which you're probably going to need for setup. As you can see, there's only one port on board here, and that's for power. It's the little micro USB port here. We're not sure why it's at the side, because it does make it a little bit more awkward. And you can see there's no Ethernet here either, although there is dual band Wi-Fi, including 802.11 AC. As you can see, the stick is pretty big and wide for a streaming stick, and plugging in it without the extender is essentially going to block at least one of your other ports. It just won't fit in there. Using that extender will get you a lot more play for those ports, but as you can see, it just kind of looks awkward dangling down there, especially with the power port hanging out the side. And you might even say it's even more awkward than last year's Fire TV, which is no prize itself. Otherwise, Amazon's interface walks you through a breezy setup, including easy access to just about every app you could want. However, you will want to make one important settings adjustment before you get going so your non-HDR content looks correct. And that is done by going to the settings here, into display and sounds, and going into the HDR area here. As you see, it comes as default with always HDR on. Now, switching that to adaptive will allow for non-HDR content, SDR content to look correct. Otherwise, it will likely have sapped color and a dimmer picture. Why Amazon went with the always HDR as the default, we're not sure of. And this may even be fixed before you get your device, but we just wanted you to know. As mentioned, the Fire TV Stick 4K is loaded, and that includes Alexa voice control, not only for search, but also for control within multiple streaming apps. Alexa allows you to do things like pause play, of course, but also things like rewind by 35 seconds or fast forward two minutes. And that's not all. Using voice commands on the remote, you can send IR commands to multiple devices, including TVs and audio devices for power, volume control, and even HDMI input switching, or you can even control some cable devices to actually choose a channel right from your remote control. In addition, Alexa allows you to control video on multiple apps hands-free with an Echo speaker. How convenient all of this is will vary from user to user, also depending on how invested you are in the Alexa ecosystem, but it's pretty cool that Alexa has so much functionality here. For all it offers, we did run into a few issues with the Fire TV Stick 4K. Along with the Netflix issue, we encountered a few internet connection errors, as well as a few other minor stumbles. That said, overall, the latest Fire TV offers speedy performance, a rainbow of ways to control your home theater, and impressive picture and audio quality, thanks to support for multiple HDR formats as well as Dolby Atmos. A few hiccups aside out of the gate, Amazon's Fire TV Stick 4K offers a ridiculous amount of features and top-notch video and audio quality, all at a seriously low price tag.